It's raining. It's miserable. And we're in quarantine. So what do you do when it's rainy, miserable, and quarantine? You get ready for it to be nice. Let's build a kite. White plastic grocery bags. You're gonna need four of those. You're also going to need four 36 inch dowel rods, the quarter inch variety. That might be the one thing you have to pick up from the store when you're grocery shopping or something. You'll need a pen for marking. You'll need to have string to reinforce the cross beams that we're gonna make for this kite. Uh, you'll need a tape measure and you're gonna need masking tape to reinforce your structure that you build. You will need four 14 inch dowel rods and that's the exact same kind that you use for the cross beams as you use for the vertical beams. We'll talk about that when you make your frame. You'll need a handful of straws, maybe five or six straws, and then you'll need something to cut the dowels with. And that's it. All right, so here is, here is the, uh, the finished box kite. This is what we will be building today. And the first thing that you're gonna be doing uh, to build the box kite will be you are going to construct the frame. You want to make sure that your frame is as sturdy as you can make it. So the first thing you're going to do with your uh, to make the frame is you're going to take your two 14 inch sections of dowel rod and you are going to mark them in the middle at the seven inch mark. Then you're going to take them and you are going to tie them together using your twine or you can just use tape as well and then it'll end up looking like this. I used some green thread to tie it together and I just kept wrapping it around and around and around until it got fairly firm. And then uh, what you'll do after that is you'll take some tape and reinforce it with tape. You want these pieces to be as strong as possible. These are your vertical pieces, or your long pieces of dowel rod, the 36 inch long ones. You're going to mark them at six inches from each end. This is where your cross pieces are going to intersect. They'll intersect with the vertical pieces like this at the six inch mark on the bottom and on the top. You'll take your straws and you're gonna cut them into three sections each. Each one of these three sections, you'll snip the straw nearly in half. Nearly in half. You'll leave a little bit uh, uncut because what you'll want to be able to do is you'll want to be able to fold that straw down. That's gonna help you in assembling your project because what you'll do is you'll actually take your vertical pieces and you'll be able to slide your straws down like this to the six inch mark that you've marked out. So once you slide it to the six inch mark, then it becomes really easy to insert your cross pieces. They just kind of slide in there, all right? So then that's lined up. When you go to assemble your frame and you have all those pieces in place and the straws locked in with these, it'll be really wobbly. So you'll probably need an extra set of hands to help you hold it all together. And then you'll just want to tape each one of those pieces. Then you take your assembled frame and you're going to take those plastic bags that we had before and you're gonna lay them out. If you lay them out really nicely, you can cut the tops and the bottoms off of those plastic bags. And it'll create a loop of plastic. Then just cut that loop up from one side and you'll have nice long sheets of plastic. Now, if you're using grocery bags like I did, the plastic grocery bags, you'll have a rectangle that's about one foot by about three feet, which means you'll need two of those to wrap the top and to wrap the bottom. So if you wanna see, here's what this looks like on my kite. You'll wrap two pieces around the top and two pieces around the bottom. Now, the reason we use two pieces is because 
one only goes three quarters of the way around. If you're using some other kind of plastic, something that reaches a little bit further, um, then you'll actually maybe be able to make it in one whole loop around. I, people have done this with garbage bags. Once that's done, you'll be taping your uh, plastic, the top rim of plastic, put an extra piece of tape around the top of that and around the bottom of that here. Once that's complete, you'll have your, uh, your basic box structure, your box kite structure, and you'll be attaching the string. Now, to attach the string, you're going to cut a 36 inch piece of, of rope or twine or string, and you'll attach one of them to the top, attach one of them to the top up here, and then you'll attach the second one here, right above the second box, right above the second box. So one here and one down here, and your kite will actually kind of fly at an angle like this. All right, so as you're flying it actually is in the air and it flies kind of at an angle. One word of warning, if you wrap the plastic too tight, it will dive one way or get into kind of a death spiral and then crash into the ground. You don't want that to happen and I've had a lot of experience with that already. On the next video, I will post how this box kite flew and you'll be able to see whether it was a success or a miserable failure. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button at the bottom. It's not that kind of video. They're all that kind of video.